Welcome back to another Jay's Collectible video, and here we have Matt Murdock from Spider-Man No Way Home from the Marvel Legends line. So without further ado, let's dive into this review. So first up, we're going to take a look at the package here. It's on one of those retro carded packs, kind of like the vintage collection, but smaller, or the, um, just the Spider-Man vintage, or retro, any retro packaging Marvel's been doing, and kind of what Star Wars does for their characters, although they're usually there on the side, but that doesn't matter. Um, we get the Spider-Man No Way Home logo up here. We get a look at the Spider-Man on the side package. Kind of strange why they don't, or I'm, it's kind of strange that they don't put, like, the character in the package on the side. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but speaking of that character in the package, we got to look at Matt Murdock. And so he gets his little cane there. And he gets the uh, brick that says, We Believe Mysterio. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. Um, and, yeah. Turning the package around, we get another look, I think, at Spider-Man. And that's mainly it. I tried looking to see if there's other characters on the package, but I don't think there is. Let me know in the comments below. I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's none. And up on this corner, we're going to get a look at the uh, bio for this character. You can pause the video and zoom in or um, read it for yourself if you want. I'm moving the package around. Forgive me if it's not the same um, same shot as it was earlier uh, when it comes to, like the um, when I have to zoom in and everything. But um, yeah, that's a look at the package and everything. So let's open Matt Murdock out up and take a look at the figure. So here we have Matt Murdock out of the package and i gotta say it's a pretty cool figure i'm gonna take a look at it a bit closer in a few moments i did have a little trouble getting the cane in and i'll show you when we get uh to the point of the video where i'm putting the cane in his hand but i'm not quite sure if i put it in wrong wrong or if that's how it's supposed to hold it uh but those are just my kind of preview thoughts but i guess let's take a look at the accessories real quick so at first here we got the cane here and just uh kind of just a stick piece won't be careful so it doesn't get warp or anything um when you, you like it's in a long it's been bent or something in long position for quite a while. Um, we get this little attachment string here, which is correct. Um, most canes have that. Actually, all canes have that. I have one. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. It kind of shocked me. I, I don't know why I would have thought this would have been like some fabric piece. I would have thought it would have been like a string piece. It's not. Um, it's always going to be in that position. Uh, so that just kind of shocked me and everything. It's not bad. It's just like, I don't know why. I probably should have known that was going to be plastic. Um... And I think he holds on to this because I tried getting this in his hand and I couldn't get it to like go like every time I had him hold it, it was like like this or like like this. So I think I got to have him hold that uh, little string piece because then it's in that position where he's using it like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 that's, if that's the case, he's not even really holding the cane and you can't really use the cane just by using the string. Um, but again, we'll, I'll kind of show how that works when we get to the point of attaching it. Um, he doesn't have, like, the little red portion down here um, on the cane. And I know I use a cane, but I, I forgot what that, like, I don't know if there's, like, a special word for it. It's just, like, the, it's a little red stripe and everything. Um, it helps, like, drivers know and see you and everything. Um, this almost reminds me of just one of those plain white ones that have no nothing on it. Um, there's different meanings for canes. I, I did a whole presentation on it during public speaking, and yet I... I, the one time I need to know, I, I can't remember. Um, but he does have a little tip down here. So, I don't think we got a real close shot of the cane in No Way Home, like the bottom half of it. But he does have a red stripe, I believe, in other scenes throughout Daredevil and everything. And so, it's also a folding cane. I think it's a folding cane. Actually, I can't remember what's a folding cane. Maybe that's why there's no other little marks on here. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's his cane here. You got the little more, uh, black line right here. So yeah, it's a pretty decent cane. I like the little. I like how it turned out. Just a little nitpicks I had there, but besides that, it definitely um they definitely did a pretty good job on making a cane. Which uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be super hard for them to do. Now let's move on to our next accessory, which is here we have the little brick piece that went flying into the window that should say we believe Mysterio. I think I'm holding it the correct way. Um, but if not, I'll do an angle of tipping it upside down just in case. But it's just this little brick um gray plastic piece. It does look like a brick. Of course, this is what he caught when it was thrown through the window. Um, and then I'm just going to turn it upside down just to be safe. Um, but if it's upside down, well, then the other one is right. And so, um, but yeah, it's it's a nice little accessory to get. Um, of course, it does make sense for him to have it. And yeah, it's a very, it's actually not as small as I thought it'd be. Um, but yeah, that's a look at the brick accessory. It's time to take a look at Matt Murdock. So I thought I'd start up close with his glasses here in his face. So... He does have the red tinted glasses, which funny enough, um, in the show and in the movie, I think only in certain angles you can see his eyes, but most of the time you can't see it. Um, you do have the silver lenses around uh, the glasses, or the silver um, glasses, I think, 
it's not the lenses, it's the frames and everything. But when you go to the side, it's like a brownish black color, is what I was told. And I could just wear silver. Now, I do have replicas, or yeah, they're kind of like replicas of his glasses, the Magnolian clothiers. Um, and they're silver, so I'm not quite sure which is the correct way. Um, I gotta go back and look at the show. I would think theirs would be as close as possible, but um, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, you got that, and so yeah, you can kind of see his eyes a bit, and I do like how the glasses turned out a bit, though. Um, I do find it funny, like I told my parents how in the show you can't see his eyes at all, but in the replicas, and even on the action figure uh, form, you can see his eyes a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get a good, good um, view of the head here. Um, you got his hair and everything. In some angles, I think I think it works out for Matt Murdock, honestly. Um, so, of course, Charlie Cox played him, and so, yeah, I'm really happy how that turned out. It could just be me since I, I like the character and I like his accessory and I like like I'm I can kind of like um, relate to him and everything since he's blind. Although he's he's actually like full fully blind compared to me. Um, you do get his gray suit here, which um I have also. You get a black tie under which can it be move? It does move a little bit. Okay, you do have his suit here that can kind of open a bit. You can take it off, or can you? I don't know if you can take it off, but um it does move a bit at the front. You see his white shirt underneath, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, moving downwards toward his legs, just got some gray suit um legs down here, and some nice boots on the bottom. So, it's a pretty simple figure, um, nothing too special, but I really like how it turned out. I, I'm so happy to have this character. I'm kind of shocked they did him. Um, I'm happy they did him. I would have thought they did the other villains, one of the other, one of the other villains, but, um, yeah, I'm just happy that I got him in the collection, and like I said, it's just because I'm visually impaired, so I did a little bit more attachment to him, I feel like. Um, so now when it comes to the cane here, which we'll get him a little pose here in a moment, but I... I probably sat here for a good 10 minutes trying to get his, um, maybe not 10 minutes, but, um, close enough. But, um, so if I put his cane in his hand, and you kind of want to be careful so you don't break his finger or his thumb. But if, if I put it in like that, and even that's not correct, let's try this again. Um, trying to get it in there, maybe. Okay, there we go. See, when he holds it like this, it's like an average, like a little walking cane. Even though it is a walking cane, it's not, it's like, it's like they, like, hold someone up and everything. He's supposed to use it, like, where it's kind of at the ground and everything. But, like, my point is that the cane's not going to be, like, he can't really use it like this. See, that's how it's true. That's how it is when he holds it like that. And I tried bending his arm, his hand. His hand does bend down like this, but it has to be this way. So, that doesn't work. So, then, on accident, the string went through, and then it kind of looked like the way they had it online. Um, so if I can get the string through, yeah, so if I hold it, if it holds like this, that kind of works. Now, if I put the string down a bit further, that works a lot more. So, um, again, if it's, if that's how it is in the product images and, like, how he's supposed to hold it, then that's, he's not even holding any cane, and that's not going to do you much, I can tell you that, just by holding the string, at least the way I've used it. Uh, it, it may work, but I, I'm 99 percent sure it's not gonna work not gonna work like that um but um it does get the job done i'll give it that um so yeah it can be having like that and we'll get a little pose here in a few moments but like i said um i guess that's how you're supposed to hold it so yeah that's that accessory and of course we get his little brick piece that he catches so with this hand i think it's supposed to be the one he it holds it and so um just kind of kind of get in his hands somehow hopefully i don't break his fingers because then i'll have to get two more copies of him so i can get one carded <laughs> um hmm. will he hold this that's the question i don't think he's gonna hold this oh okay there you go he's, he's holding it not quite sure that's how it was in the product i mean it doesn't have to be like the product images they had but still um that's him kind of catching and everything so i guess we'll get him a pose real quick i'll give you my final thought well i forgot to do articulation so um i'm gonna do that real quick so when it comes to his head he can go 360 degrees all the way around um he can go that far down and then that far up so not a lot he can go side to side a bit and yeah and then the arms should be um 
the same as any other figure you go all the way around they're really tight so that's nice um can bend it in that far you can twist with the elbow and twist with the hand and like i said um i'm not sure if i said this at uh, this point in the video but you can move his hand up like that and down like that but not like that um so it should be the same with this hand also you can turn it all the way around uh move it up a bit down a bit so that one's a bit more stiff stiff um uh, move did i do this part already <laughs> if i did you just move his arm all the way around twist the elbow and then can he twist the waist he can can he bend no he cannot he cannot bend at the uh, ab crunch there you know, he can kick his foot up that far kick it back that far same with this leg and then can he twist at the legs he cannot uh the feet can go somewhat all the way around and it can go side to side a bit same with this foot go all the way around and then it can go side to uh, maybe not doesn't really want to um he can do splits like that and he can bend at the knee like that and then same with this knee you can bend it in that far so yeah, that's all I guess articulation and everything. Now we'll move on to whatever segment I have coming up next. <laughs> so that's my review of Matt Murdock. I have to zoom out really far for you to see the cane and everything. I'll zoom in a little bit, but that's a shot of him using the cane, and then it's like it's holding by the strap and everything. But if we zoom in, we can get a better look and everything at him catching that brick right there. And so, yeah. Um, let me know what you thought of this character in the comments below. I think it turned out really well. I just, Like I said... If that's the way he's holding his cane and, and just the product images, then I guess that's how he's supposed to hold it. But if not, then you're, he's not really really even holding the cane, and therefore it's not going to be able to work too well. Um, I like the little brick accessory, and um, it's just a Matt Murdock character. So, I mean, he's in a suit, and it just works and everything. Um, you get the glasses. So, yeah. Let me know what you thought of this character in the comments below. Uh, and, yeah, I guess this starts our journey of reviewing the No Way Home characters. So we'll have Toby McGuire up next, and yeah, so with that, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.